What's up game? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Serene and if you guys are returning subscribers, then welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again. So today's video is in collaboration with one of my friend Adi. I will go ahead and link her Instagram and her YouTube account down in the description box below. Make sure you guys go ahead and check her out. We are going to be doing a holiday look. I cannot wait to see what kind of look she's going to create. Um, I myself don't know what I'm going to do. So, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right onto the video. I already did my brows and to outline my brows, I used my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. And to fill in my brows, I used my Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade. I have already went ahead and moisturized my face. For primer, I used the Becca's Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I also got a tiny sample of the Lancome LA Base Primer. So I did use this. I've never used this uh, primer, so hopefully it doesn't break me out. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my Lancome Tinted All Ultra Wear Foundation. 415 Bisque Warm. And this is probably going to be a little bit light on me. Um, so we'll work it out. I'm gonna shake this puppy up. I hope you guys are having a good day. I just got out of work, so yeah, I had a long day at work. And I'm gonna be using my Real Technique sponge to apply my foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this over. I did stop wearing this foundation a while back, but I recently got another bottle. And this foundation is really light wear. Um, you can really build this foundation up if you're just going for a natural looking skin type uh, finish for foundation. This is a really good foundation. This foundation lasts all day for me. It does not make me feel super oily. It does not um, smudge and it does not it does not smudge and it does not make me feel super oily. I do have extremely sensitive oily skin, so I have to be extremely careful with what the type of foundation that I wear. Um, and it does um, oxidize just a little bit, so maybe we'll be fine with this um, shade. It doesn't have a matte finish whatsoever. It does still give you a nice glow to your skin, as you guys can see. It still has a little bit of sheen all throughout my face. I really, really love this. If you guys haven't tried this foundation yet, then you really need to um, splurge and spend some money and to get this foundation because it is such a beautiful finish. It's literally like a second skin. It's just one layer of foundation and it is flawless. So for concealer, I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape in Medium Honey. This is my all-time favorite as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that under my eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with the same spot. And I am applying the concealer on my eyelid as well because that could work as a um, eyelid primer. And I usually do that every time I do apply concealer. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face. Um, to set my entire face, I use the Maybelline's Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium. It really does its job and it's super inexpensive. I like to use either my uh, Laura Mercier powder. Um, I cannot find it for the heck of it. So yeah, it, I either use the Laura Mercier or the Espen powder. This really does the job as well. So if you don't want to spend too much money on the Laura Mercier, you can always opt for this one. So yeah, both of them are really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same um, sponge to go ahead and apply that all over my face. And I'm just gonna do a light tear because I do not want to be a cake face. 
I'm gonna go ahead and move straight on to the eye makeup look and for the eye makeup look I'm gonna be using the Morphe X Jaclyn Hills palette and ring the alarm this is such a pretty palette I'm gonna go ahead and bake underneath my eye so that way if I do have some fallouts it does not mess up my look and I am gonna be zooming you guys in a little bit more <laughs> So um, embrace yourself because I don't have perfect skin, but it's okay. I have gotten over that. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and bake my under eye. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that the Aspen, the powder that I use is just the uh, translucent powder. So it doesn't have any color or anything. And I love how this powder smells. I'm really sensitive to smell, but this has a really yummy baby powder smell to it um, like so so i'm gonna be using these four brushes today for my eye makeup look and these are all from morphe these are my top top favorite brushes so i'm gonna go ahead and use the morphe m505 brush go ahead and use the shade rush this is this color right here on the top And this is going to be my um, transition shade. And I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid. It is super, super pigmented, so a little goes a long way. I always flick my eyeshadow outwards. Um, I don't like to just stop it right in the, in the middle here or not the middle but the end um, I don't like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and slightly um, buff that outwards I don't know for some reason I just don't like that look where the eyeshadow just kind of stops right at the end um, I just don't think it looks that flattering honestly so but each to their own okay so you're gonna end up with something like this and I have the whole vault collection and I really really love all of them it's super pigmented um, I really love that so next we're gonna go ahead and apply a darker shade on the outer corners of my eyes um, so I'm gonna go ahead with mugshot so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the the outer corner and maybe a little bit on the inner corner And I'm not dragging the product, I'm just stamping it because I will go ahead and blend that out um, after I've placed the eyeshadow. So we're going to end up with something like this. Do that on the other eye. And blend that out with the M514 brush. I'm done with blending the um, shade Mugshot. So now I'm going back with the same Morphe M507 brush. And I'm gonna go ahead with the shade Secret color here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this just on the outer corner. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to darken my outer corner. And I'm also taking it lightly above my natural crease to deepen up my um, crease. Don't worry if it's not looking too beautiful right now, but it will in a minute. So next I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer just on the center of my eyelid. And I'm using my Morphe M213 brush to apply the concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that right in the middle. I'm going to look up. And I'm only going to apply the concealer on the center portion. I'm not going to be doing a um, cut crease. I'm, um, I'm going to just do a subtle halo eye look. And 
if you are going to be creating any kind of um, halo looks or cut crease looks um, I would suggest that you look sh really straight ahead and try to keep your brush kind of in a straight form rather than it to be slanted I feel like that really um, helps me at least so that's my trick okay guys so you should end up with something like this now I'm gonna go ahead with my Too Faced chocolate palette it's a little crusty ignore that <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade classy and sassy I'm gonna go ahead and apply that with the same brush I went ahead and applied famous instead because the classy sassy was not being too sassy <laughs> so I went ahead with the shade famous which is this one right here I'm gonna go back with the Morphe M514 brush and I'm gonna get Top Secret, apply that on the outer crease. And I'm also using that to kind of blend everything together. I just don't want the glitter to just stop right smack in the middle. I want it to kind of have a gradient. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some glitter right on the top where the um, shimmer shade ends. For shimmer, I'm gonna be using the NYX Liquid Crystal in... Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. Mm, crystal Gold. <laughs> that only took about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right on the top. And it is super easy if you have a mirror and you're looking downwards, that way you don't mess up. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry because sometimes if it's not dry, then it kind of messes everything up. So now with a clean M213 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some color on my lower lash line. Bring everything together. Next we're gonna go ahead and move on to some falsies and I'm gonna be using these um, beautiful lashes by Lavishly She Is. I love the packaging. So matching with my backdrop, black and gold, black and gold. The handy dandy favorite um, duo lash glue. Glasses are so easy to apply, like I'm mind blown. And they have such beautiful lashes. I would highly, highly recommend you guys go and check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a teeny tiny. Went ahead and did a winged eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly contour my face, and I'm gonna be using the NYX Wonder Stick in deep. And I'm going to quickly do this part. Oh, shit. <gasps> and I'm going to be using the Morphe's makeup um, sponge to blend out that mess here. I applied too much on my forehead. I'm gonna 
gonna go ahead and bronze my face a little bit so using the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Saddle and I'm gonna be using a angled brush this does not have a name I'm gonna go ahead and bake underneath my contour I'm gonna go back with the morphe sponge and I really love this to do this specifically so I'm gonna go ahead and get a good amount on the sponge and this really gives you that precise line go ahead and bake under my eye as well just to set everything in place because I don't want anything to move so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush I've been really experimenting with a lot of the Zubia's palettes I've been loving this shade I don't want to butcher the name so I'm just gonna point at it it complements my skin tone really well so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that in the elf's um, complexion brush I'm just gonna go ahead and tap get a little bit of product and definitely dust off the excess because the Zuvia's palette, if you guys have tried it, they are really, really pigmented. I'll be really, really light handed, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the apples of my cheek. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the lips. The holiday isn't complete without a beautiful red lipstick. So I'm gonna be putting a red lips on for this look. I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible um, Matte Lipstick in the shade. What shade are you, honey? Oh, Matador. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using the Max Lip Liner in He Said, She Said. I am almost out of it, so I need to go get me another one. And I have not done a red lip in a hot minute. And I really, really love this um, lipstick because it stays on all day. in a little bit because of everything so now I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the powder you guys so we are almost done the last step is highlighter obviously I'm gonna be using the Amrezy um, highlighter from Anastasia I'm be using the elf highlighting brush go ahead and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you guys found it helpful. If you guys liked it, then please give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel down below. And don't forget to go to Hadi's channel to check out the holiday look that she has created. And I will go ahead and insert her link in the description box below. And if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, my Instagram is at alpha.sherpa. I will put it over here somewhere. But I do have a lot more videos coming for you guys, so make sure that your bell notification is on that way you get notified every time I upload new videos so that way you don't miss out on any of my videos so until I see you guys next time take care and happy holidays